Greetings, science fiction and fantasy enthusiasts. You're listening to No Deodorant in Outer Space. Now, let's get started. Hello. Welcome, Internet, into my mind or into my home or I'm into your home. I don't know. It's been a long couple of days. I'm here with a preview of our next podcast with my lovely, wonderful, talented Julia Gray. Say hello, Julia. Hi. Hi. And we're going to be talking about our next podcast, which Anne, for the first time ever, you go, 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 no problem, I'll be here, and a video. Oh, and I think Kelly is FaceTiming, which is terrifying in and of itself. Anyways, our next podcast is a classic. Now, the book's a classic. Whether the podcast is a classic remains to be seen. Um, it's about Slaughterhouse Five, the book and the movie. And part of it's recorded at a house that Kurt Vonnegut once met out with a girl in. Okay, Kelly's coming too. All right, good. And even more exciting, there is going to be something coming out with this podcast. There's going to be something coming out of this podcast that will ruin your life because it'll make you so obsessed with Kurt Vonnegut. It'll make you so focused on all things Vonnegut. You'll neglect your work. You'll neglect your diet. You'll neglect your loved ones. It'll ruin your life. Here's Kelly. Oh, now we have, we have you Kelly. You started without me. We did. Kelly and you Julia. started without me, too. I did. I did. All right, so, girls. You are probably the two biggest fans in our youth demographic, yeah. and sure. we are here to discuss our next podcast, which is called what? Slaughterhouse. Okay, you well, keep I'll keep talking. So, our next podcast is about a book called Slaughterhouse Five. Slaughterhouse Five. What do you think Slaughterhouse Five is about, Julia? Um, uh, is it about like people dying? People it is. Up. People are about, about people dying and getting killed, yes, but it's not entirely about that. It's Wait, what is it called again? Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, is it like Five Nights at Freddy's? Five Nights at Freddy's is a popular game for um, the iPad and the iPod, and where you are locked in a Chuck E. Cheese like environment and you're oh, hunted yeah. down. The one boy does laugh at shit. Yeah, well, that's that, that game is scary. No, Slaughterhouse Five is not about being locked in a children's amusement center and being hunted by animatronic animals. All right, so you think Slaughterhouse Five might be about being locked in some room with robots trying to kill you? Okay, so I was asking Julia what she thinks Slaughterhouse Five is about. And I thought, it's about a bunch of people murdering the other people with axes, yeah, slaughtering that's people. That's what I thought. That actually, yeah, that's what that actually, be, uh, yeah, we should write in a house because that would make houses. sense. It's called Slaughterhouse. It's right there in the name. And they it have is a house, and they a, a small, a small cottage house, and, <laughs> and there are five. And we did record part of this in the cottage that maybe people were murdered in. I don't know. That's Rick will tell us more about that. But Slaughterhouse Five is, is a classic book written about the ill logic of war as told by a man who encounters time traveling aliens. Okay, that, uh, they explain that the entire human existence lacks the perspective and they allow him to become unstuck in time and move back and forth in his own life as he sees fit to various events. As if he was watching a TV show they could fast forward in line. Let's let's get to the to the nitty-gritty here, what our viewers and audience really wants to hear. And guess what? There's actually we made a video this time around that's gonna be on the YouTube. YouTube! You know, we're hoping for release in August, but maybe even in July. Just so you know, I'm going to And the video is all about Kurt Vonnegut and the house that our never. co-host Rick bought in Indiana. Who's, you never heard of him? Oh, oh, yeah, but Kurt Vonnegut is a very famous author, and you can learn more about him 
on this month's podcast of No Deodorant in Outer Space! For more information on the topics discussed in this episode, or to read our show notes and find us on social media, visit nodeodorant.com. Thanks for listening to our show. And always, always remember, there is no deodorant in outer space.